not programs. As well, these pair know each other so well. The number one and two in the seeding also happen to be the number one and two in the world right now. Ashton Hedman coming up. And to welcome the players to the big stage on this big night is back to Richard Ashton. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2016 Sports Direct Video World Trophy Ladies Final. Marco Meyer is your referee for this best of 13 leg finale. We're live at the lakeside for darts on Dave. It's throw time! We now introduce to the stage the currently ranked BDO World number one and the holder of 15 BDO World ranking titles. She's three times the Lakeside World Championship finalist, twice a Winmore World Masters champion. It's England's Dark Destroyer, Dieter the former Winmore World Masters champion and reigning World Cup singles champion. Twice the Lakeside World champion. She's the reigning BDO World trophy champion, the Lancashire Rose, Lisa Two top ladies in the game right now on current form have found their way to this World Trophy final. Lisa Ashton against Dieter Hedman. Joining me, Scott Mitchell and also Trina Gulliver, MBE, who knows both of these players oh so well. Scott, first of all, what a match we've got in proposition here. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we, we really, when you're, when you're preparing for a final like this, you look at the tournament stats, really on uh, both the girls and there's there's nothing in it on the average uh, 80 for Hedman and 80 uh, 80 for Ashton sorry and 81 for Hedman even with that large average that Ashton had um, it shows that Dieter has been as consistent Lisa Ashton of course was absolutely sensational against Corin Hammond in the second round with that 90 8.84 average. Trina Gulliver, you must have been wowed by that, like all of us. Uh, she was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, awesome, um, uh, and and the best average on this stage. So uh, yeah, that and that's always going to be hard to repeat. Very different, yeah. We saw that in in the the quarterfinals, of of course. Sorry, in the semi-finals, I should say, where she overcame her old adversary, uh, the Bromislova. They fought out each of the last two finals here, Ashton. Uh, the fancy and favourite, and she's three to one on with the bookies uh, as well. Two very different styles going head to head here as Thank well. You, the and relentless first methodical first pressure first of Hedman and the flowing moves of Ashton, who gets us underway in this BDO trophy final. 26. On, I think, in terms of temperament. Mr. Vine, he's enjoying things. He's, he's stuck around. He's, he's done his slot on the stage. He had a go in the commentary box, and he's also sticking around just to watch the mission. If there's any doubt with Lisa's game, it's now and again she has a leg where she has a lot of darts at it. Um, 55. I think she's going to have to be a little more clinical if, if she's going to win it. Her scoring has been phenomenal um, this week, so uh, you know that's 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 a good part of her game. Um, but like you say, it's down to the finishing. Well, she was absolutely special in the quarters and in the semis against Trina in that match. She she took out two checkouts that involved a bull. Absolutely Thanks terrific for stuff. Thanks me. Sorry, 60. sorry. That's the last time. Now, now, please, please, calm down in here. I've, I'm sat between these two, so it's OK, viewers. I've, I've got it under control. Luckily, Scotty's going to referee. There's a nice treble for Dieter Hedman. 100. She was slightly sluggish against Rianne Griffiths. Remember, she lost the first uh, leg in the semi-final. That was with her throw as well. She was broken in the very first leg, and then 100. she rattled off six on the bounce. I think that leg from Rianne actually woke her up. 
to be fair. I think it could have been a real cagey affair, that, until that big leg came in to start it off and it, and it kicked the game into gear for, for Dieter. Very much so. Six on the bounce and then one on the road, 120 check out with double tops to go 5-1 up. Here there's an opportunity for Hedman, perhaps for the break in the first game. Dieter, you require 101. Should probably start with treble 20 here on this 101. So it'll now be treble 19. So 62, probably treble 10 now. 49. And she was attempting each and every one of those shots Scott was just mentioning. Twenty-nine. No Dita real impact from Ashton. So another goal for Dita. Lisa slightly lost her rhythm there when she missed the ball going for the one twenty-five. But it's twelve for tops now for Hedman. And a break. One more chance. Twelve. Misses. The doubles eluded her in this the semi-final. She so accurate in the competition prior to that. Fifty-six. So Dieter's going to get another goal after those Dieter two missed darts at doubles. Here we are, take three. Again, for the break. Yeah, that's Kim Shaw the first and she He's takes it man. and takes a one-nil lead in the final. The first. That's the sort of stuff between us, but can really rattle you when a, a leg gets drawn out. In the suspense is there. Well, she's taking the darts there, so um, you know she's at the advantage at the, moment, at the moment, and uh, she's just putting a 140 again. So the pressure's on. Really pressing home that advantage so early on, but on the that's the stuff of a champion. Ashton immediately biting back. Yeah, I think when you're playing a big scorer like Lisa is, uh, and, and probably Trina agree with this, sometimes like a 140 would wake her up into big scoring. And, and, and sort yeah. of get her going. She'd have been battling there to try and hold her, her throw. 81. And now having lost it, she'll probably relax a little and, and, and try and get this scoring into, into fruition yeah. on a leg where she feels that probably she shouldn't win because she hasn't got the darts. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, Dita scoring an 81 there and uh, Lisa's pressurised it with a ton. So they're almost upsides, but Hedman with the throw. Yeah, we saw that in the men's last quarter final didn't we with Nopard and, and Reynolds they were sort of dragging each other up not pushing each other down the quality was 36. so high that the, the match had rhythm and pace and, and quality and accuracy it was just a joy to watch and could be the same here wow here we go one of the nine, 25 pressurize it again that's Danielle and uh, Wendy Danielle being uh, Lisa's daughter and the other daughter oh. is at home Lindsay with her little girl. Hi, Lindsay. Amelia Rose, who I am proud 16. to say Lisa, you myself and Sue are six. godparents too. So your goddaughter back home watching. You don't see many people calling Lisa Ashton grandma. <laughs> I'm not brave enough for that. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. My, you know, obviously granddaughter and, and daughter, but she's in with a chance, perhaps 16. here, coming back to this the ball with 36, 36. Double at her hands. Yeah, there that's is. Short and a second bar. Look Lisa at Ashton. that. One, Go one. Who would have thought it at this Lima. level? Two breaks, and we're back on serve with Ashton. Somebody been throwing paper towels 16. around there. I see Neil Birkin with one stuck in his ear. It's been a long day, a long three days. There's no, you need stamina for this gig. There's no doubt about it. Whether you're in the commentary box, whether you're on the stage, whether you're down at the tables, or whether you're watching on Dave. You do indeed. 59. You do indeed. And it's it's just a, it's a mental thing, isn't it? it? Must be so. I mean, they were telling me. I saw Richard Ashton when he came off in between. Uh, one or two of the breaks and 16. he was mopping the sweat off his brow and he was only up there for a few minutes just to call the players out 
it's intense for everybody, you know, uh, players. Uh, you know, you've got to remember the referees as well, you know, and uh, and everybody um, involved in the event. It, you know, it's immense. 83. Yeah, I feel for Cliff Murray and his team that are putting in every score that's been thrown this weekend on the computer. You know, you, we can't do it without them. One of the Big darts from Lisa Ashton, who might have just... Uh, stuttered early on but she's come firing back the champion and this pair these pair have already met three times already this season as Dito has just held the upper hand what the good results run. in the Denmark Masters coming out 5-2 on top and she also won in the semi-finals of the Isle of Man Classic as well just the one Six reserve days. in the Isle of Man uh, open recently Dita's just held the upper hand Well, I think it's pretty well known to Dart fans around. This place has always been a bit of a bogey for, <laughs> for Dita, and uh, particularly in finals. I'm, I'm not saying during uh, 59. Uh, rounds of wherever she's doing, but um, she, she would love to get a final under her belt here. Well, that's a really good point. And, you know, the World Championship final has alluded to a tree of occasions. And interestingly, she's bumped into Lisa Ashton on a few occasions I think three times in the world championships at various stages and Lisa's always come out on top so maybe the psychology of the lakeside could play a part here well it could well very well but uh, you know that's great darts from Dita there Dita's really hungry to um, win on this stage you know win a, a tournament on this stage and uh, the pressure's on her 44 that big visit Dita from Hedman has given her this opportunity Well, okay. the double, the wrong way around, but it might work out. Over for fives. 50. Well, is that, is that this careless? Is 56. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. So, tops now. For yeah, that's King Shard in the third in, in it goes. In She's it very goes. clinical. Four She's very clinical. She's been, her all-round game actually has been really good this week, weekend. Well, the pair of them have, have not necessarily been leaving the door ajar for the opponents and they've been taking opportunities when they have come upon them. Dita's only 16. dropped the, the two legs coming into this final. Yeah, she's already equaled that scoreline early on in this one. 81. Sometimes in these matches you can find that if somebody gets that, that double first and misses, Sometimes it can be easier to be the second thrower, knowing knowing that the person's missed before you. Um, it can be easy to easier to hit a double when somebody's missed before you, but it's a risk you take because they're taking in minutes. it before you get there. Let's see if um, Lisa can punish this. That score, and it seems like she is. There you go. Wow, 180 right on cue. Punishment has been applied in the short term. Can she make that pain for Hedman more enduring in this leg? That also takes her out 10 points above in the match stats there of, on the averages. 86 to Ashton and 77 85. to Hedman. Oh, a couple of 41. careless darts, sloppier darts. That's, uh, a shame for Ashton at that particular visit. Still, she's got the advantage. Yeah, and the doubles there, look. 100% for Ashton. Just 20 for Hedman, but it's early doors. 60. Those double percentages do tend to change quickly as the games go on and as the legs go on. She's in there again. She'll probably go down. Oh, oh she went for the treble 13. Just a pause to recalibrate and recheck what sort of outshot she would look for. And she's got a long way back to Hedman. Been an excellent couple of legs from the champion. 60. This here requires 66. That really doesn't pressure the shot at all from Hedman. So it's, it's 66. Here she goes, double 18. 30. She'll get another goal. It's hot up on stage. It must be absolutely broiling inside the honey monster costume. 
And we're turning the heat up here on Dave in this ladies' final. I think that look across the face and the, the pause 16. tells you all you need to know. I think Lisa wanted to give herself a kick up the backside, but it's Ashton who can be yeah, a pain yeah, in the backside the with that double. And now, having been one down, she's suddenly 3-1 up. Yeah. And with the darts. Ah, unfortunate bounce out. We saw in the previous uh, match with Peter Mitch, and he had about three or four in the same leg or, or so, didn't he? I'm not so sure whether it's actually an actual bounce out. It's it's where it's hitting the other dart. It's a dart on dart out. Get the terminology right, Stephen. I'll, I'll, I'll learn it yet. Sixty. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll go with a DOD, a dart on dart. That's where we'll start a new thing. Or if Hedman can come back in this match, Dieter on demand. Long way to go, long way to go. And a reminder, folks, should it go down to the wire, there's quite a few of them had have so far. If it's 6-6, six, six, then they've got to win by two clear legs. If they get to 8 all, then they'll throw for the bull and we go to sudden death. <laughs> Happy Mark McGinney in the background there having a little wave, bless him. Uh, didn't go his way uh, earlier on today against Jamie Hughes, but he's not letting a game of darts get on his nerves. He's uh, still happy to be here. Uh, it's been a great atmosphere. Really enjoyed the well, near three days here at the lakeside, and it really has been one big happy family and some quality darts. The last couple of rounds have just been sensational. 140. Let's break the darts there from Dieter. That's just a 60, so Hedman with the advantage now to break back immediately. Good darts. Very, very good darts, and Hedman's pressing home the advantage in this fifth leg. Eighty-five. Did you require 106? So 106, it'll be treble 20, I would imagine. The most preferred route for this shot. Now it'll be treble 18 for double 16. No, she'll probably either stay there, I would imagine, or she's gone 58. back. 58. So Lisa really needs to press this now, put some pressure on. And she's not doing bad at it. 95. Yeah, that second Did dart just flicked 48. off the first into the treble fives. And Hedman with a... To close it. No score. She's burst there, Did so as Ashton got something special up her sleeve. Good chance to pressure the shot now from here. If she leaves a shot of her own. Fantastic darts. Brilliant darts. Continue to require 48. Hedman though with another opportunity to break straight back. She'll have another go at the 16s. Yeah, this time it's, it's gone in line. and the gap is down to Peter one. Edmund. That was under pressure as well, Trina, wasn't it? Six I mean, you know, that big shot from Ashton to Demon. leave double four yeah. uh, after having burst the, the, the initial at the initial uh, attempt, um, Dita was under a lot of pressure there and two darted it out. Yeah, and she took the, she took the chance, so uh, yeah, fair play to her. 100. That's the last leg before the break. Back on throw. Mind you, to be fair, Trina. Here we look, go. Yeah, they look, like, they look like they can break each other, don't they, at any point so far? No, they, they, I mean, they're pretty evenly matched, really, to be fair. Big leg in the game this though, going in at 4-2 for Ashton. She'd be much happy with that. Then 3-3 then three, three to the break. 45. Lisa Ashton's not looking. You tend not to look at your opponent's darts, generally, just depend on the players. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's, it all depends on uh, 100. how your confidence level is. Is that right? At that or, point in or time. Or the stage of the game? Yeah, and that's, that's right. 
or the mindset of how you're feeling. Some days you go up there and just think, this guy, this guy or this girl can't beat me today, so it doesn't matter what they do, and you can watch them all day. And another time, you don't want to know. So you notice there that um, Lisa's Point actually Jesus. looking down at the floor. She's not looking at what what Dita's doing at, at all. Yeah, picked um, up on that. Yeah, so uh, sometimes you do that. Could this be a 180? Oh, yes, oh, it is. Oh, hey, up. Oh, hey, up to the Lancashire Rose. Blooming once again and in this topsy-turvy uh, make and break em game so far. Looks like Ashton could be on the cusp of another break. Another thing that Lisa does is she, she doesn't throw from right up at the hockey. She, she comes two or three inches back from the this hockey and throws. So it's treble 18 then for double 16. She didn't need to go 54. for the other 18 and go for the ball with Hedman back on 2 1 6. And she's, for those youngsters that are watching as well, would Lisa Ashton have a slightly different style? She's quite square on at the hockey, maybe compared to one or two other players. Yeah, she's um, yeah, she is quite square on, like and like uh, Scott what said, happens, she stands a little Lisa bit further back. It works. It has worked beautifully and brilliantly. Can she finish it off? Double yeah, 16 is six buried. Star. It's another break Ashton. for Ashton, and it's a 2 0 lead for her on our very own break. It's 4 2 for Ashton against Hedman in the final. Lisa Ashton, the reigning champion, has fired back from a slow start in the BDO World Trophy final. And she has fought back to lead Dita Hedman four legs to two. The first two seven in this one, Scott Mitchell and Trina Gulliver are with me. What's been the difference, Scott, would you say so far? Well, uh, the, the thing that I've spotted is the 10 point difference in the uh, match average. You know, Seven Lisa running an 84 and Dita on. on a 74. So she's going to have to up that. She's going to get close. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 43. She needs to uh, start off again. I think the doubling has been pretty good for Ashton as well by comparison. There's two legs between them were on throw with Ashton, who had a poor first visit. She's been favourite for this tournament for quite some way. She was actually odds on favourite with the bookies even before a semi-final dart was thrown. One, and there's three that have gone right in, closely coupled to the treble 20s. That's a sixth tournament, 180. Half of them coming in this very match for Ashton, who's always had the firepower. And that Nine phenomenal quarter-final performance against Corinne Hammond, where she was right up and around the 100s for most of that game and eventually just under 99 16. for a world record average on TV. Just blistering, breathtaking stuff from Ashton. One on the Yeah, good response that from Hedman. You won't betray any of the emotion or the pressure on that face. And there is something 85. quite metronomic and sustained about the way Dieter plays the game. Yeah, there is. I mean, I've I've only uh, <coughs> played against her once in a in a tournament. Uh, no, twice actually. She she beat me once and I beat her once. So. Um, yeah, you know, the better the better the standard, usually she raises her game. Is she going to go Quick double check to the scoreboard from Ashton. To see what she was leaving. She's left tops. So, trouble 20 now. 
just out. Just misses it. That would have left tops. So she needs to leave it tidy. 50. Those, those are the Let's moments where you, get, you start to think, is it my day? Ashton yeah, yeah, thinking, this is back. my day. It's Ashton. Well, there's Eight like the daughter of Dan Danielle, who knows a thing Pima. or two about throwing an arrow herself. And at this moment in time, it's the Ashton family who are the happier. Yeah, Danielle being a very good dart player in her own right, as is Lindsay as well. 96. Keeping it in the family. The next generation's coming through, and as we've seen so far, two more from Ashton. Already oh, won oh, 180 oh, in this oh, leg, and there goes another one. Two and two. Let's not forget she's on the nine data. Seventy five. Oh, just out, just squeezed out. What a shame. Nine Tony two O'Shea two. hit back to back one eighties last night. Yes, we had Griffiths who faltered against Hedman in the semi-finals. Can Dita deliver? Bounce back. Yeah, Rhiannon's had a, a good spell this this weekend. She's, uh, she's played really well. I was really impressed with her. She looks like yeah. she's got the game, but she's got the temperament as well for that yes, stage. Yes, exactly that. Ashton's stolen the throw in this leg, effectively. And that's a big one, because in a final... <laughs> There are various big moments, but this could leave her one away from the title. 83. I fancied that was going to be two in the bed for Dieter Hedman. What an opportunity for Ashton. Big darts coming up. Big darts delivered. One of the new 40. That's great darts. Puts the pressure on. And Dieter not on a finish. And Dita Hedman has to gather herself. Just the first look there from Ashton. The first time she's... Oh, she's she's concentrating 40. completely. She's not taking much notice of what uh, Dita's doing. She is in the zone. Yeah, yeah, she's in the double the 16 zone. And she is into a four-leg lead. And with throw... She is now looking to dish it up for the title. Well, in all the legs that Hedman has started, 25. she hasn't been able to hold her own throw. And that's uh, been the story of the game for Hedman. Is there one last hurrah from Dieter? 100. Oh, just a well, look at that. Oh, Absolutely oh, brilliant. She has turned it on over the last three or so legs. She has turned on the style. Five one eight is for her in this final. And eight in total in the tournament. And of course that world record average as well. It has been a special three days for Ashton. Now she still needs to see it out. 29. What must be going through her mind? You know what it's like to be on that well, big stage with the big moments. You know, Dieter at the moment is looking a little bit stressed. A um, few poor scores. 26. Uh, and then, there you go, Lisa's, Lisa's followed it up with a, another poor score. So, um, it's, it's anybody's game. Still, it is anybody's game. Well, Ashton with the throw, with the advantage, and she's not been punished. Most of the chances that, that Hedman's had, she hasn't quite been able to, to do it. And she's never really been able to get Ashton under pressure. 85. But you can never, you can never say never. Absolutely <laughs> Do you right. know what I mean? Not with that lady up there. 
you can't, but don't come and ask for a fiver off of me to go and put on this one, <coughs> because I won't give it to you. Well, there's See, look two. There. Fighting back. One on the move. As she two. does. There's a look of almost bewildered surprise from Ashton when she threw those two dots. 85. Dots. DT Uniqual, 135. That was a big third dart from Ashton, just to, just to keep Hedman thinking. Oh, she was looking for the treble 20 and, and then the ball. 46. And there's a sloppy one. Lisa, so Uniqual, 100. Lisa Ashton, 100 for the match and the title again. That's good, leave. That's 17. a good leave. Was it's a Uniqual double. It's 89. a double. Absolutely. They're all the same size. It doesn't matter. It may not matter unless Dieter can do something special. So it's trouble 20 for double five, but she's going to now got the ball left. 57. And with that, it's a Uniqual, 30. off radar short, Ashton comes to the hockey double 15 for the title for the championship she goes any further over she'll have to pay to get back in oh 15. she came away she moved further back from the hockey to create the space and lifeline for headman maybe so double 16 for dita why is it double eight Let's go a bit higher. 16. The pressure is telling. It is hot up there. It is important, significant. Up to double four. One more. Ashton for the title. 11. And still this ninth leg mini drama goes on. So double eight for Dita. Dita. Is in the yeah, round. Water coming on board, but she's been given Peter. a pail to scoop some out and back on throw. Ten she's within three. First. Game on. Yeah, uh, Dita has to hold her own throw for the first time in the match to stay in it. Unbelievable. Who'd have thought that coming into this one? Who'd have thought 16. that? 16. Well, you know, Lisa, Lisa's just played brilliant this weekend, uh, as has Dita, but, uh, you know... 100! Um, she's, just, she's just playing out of her skin at the moment. The ironic stack is that she's stolen two of Lisa's legs to have two of them. So, you know, it... Uh, or three. So, yeah, three. So, um, if she'd have been able to hold one or two, own, the yeah. game would, would, would look a very, five. very different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah amazing. Right. Absolutely amazing. There's been that little bit of sparkle from Ashton, hasn't it? All weekend, there's just been that what little bit of joie de vivre and sparkle about a game and the ability to throw the heavy darts and the big ammunition. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she scored 120 there and uh, had a bounce out, so that, that could have been easily a 180. Or a D on D, as we've now renamed it. 100. It's a D well. on D. Dart on dart. Dart yes. on dart. Well, yeah, absolutely, yes. Got another one for you. Headman, SOS. 41. She's in trouble, no doubt about it. But still with an opportunity to claw it back somehow to two. Important visit this. 63. Just the wrong side there. Was that a D or D? Was that a bounce out? No, no, that was a definite bounce out. That one. It didn't make that much noise because of these springy 41. points that Dita has to avoid bounce outs. Yeah, have you ever played with them, Scott? Them, no, I haven't. Them points. No, I, I've that that be would, with you. to be for me, I, I think I would find that distracting. But you know, everybody to their own. It's just that wobble on it. I just, I, mm, I'm not so sure. It adds a little bit of theatre, I've got to say, for TV, when it just quivers like an arrow when it gets 100. into the board. 
obviously works for Dita, so there you go. Amen. Yeah, she's got one or two world ranking titles, hasn't she? Yeah, just a few. 59. Yeah, just a few. Just the 15 of them. Oh, how she wants the 16th thought on the lakeside, which has been something of a, a hoodoo ground, if you like to use a, a, another sporting analogy. Bull required to claw it back to two. That's oh, a great that's shot. Good shot How oh, about that? Dieter Hedman. Dieter Hedman gets it back to two in this final, and there is hope, perhaps. I don't care what sport you play or what sport you do. That was out and out bottle from Hedman there. So there, you know, Lisa would have been coming back if she'd have missed that, and uh, that was an amazing finish, amazing ball finish. Yeah, I've got to say, you sportsmen and women, quite where you get it from. Beyond the natural well, talent, sometimes it just boils down to other stuff that is, is just not visible to the naked eye. Oh, Dita um, hit 45 well, there, and Lisa's gone well ahead and uh, punished that. She's in great shape here, great shape. But Hedman did what she needed to do, which was hold her own throw. But now she's got to go and try and break the Ashton throw, which she's done. She's done on three occasions, and she needs to do it again for the fourth to stay in the match. How unlucky was that? It just clipped the other treble, 19. Almost a special visit from Hedman. 16. Well, really, you're looking at, I mean, 140 is an absolute minimum here. She needs something special. Couple of careless darts there. Ashton back on point. Eighty-three. Anyone got any fingernails left? That last dart was huge. That last dart was huge. That would have hurt. Let's put the pressure on. Oh, what a response. Whatever happens, what a response. 121, Alicia Uniqua, 118. So Ashton will have six at this 118. Not now. She'll go down for trouble 19 82. and she's hit it. What a dart. What a dart. She leaves her with a double for the championship. Dieter not giving up yet. One over and 25. And she this really has responded, Hedman, throughout the last couple of legs to just keep her hopes alive. Okay. No, sure. But they have it's been punished by that double 18 from Lisa Ashton, who has done Lisa it again. Ashton. Ashton, the champion at the lakeside on familiar territory. She has regained her crown. She is the queen here. The BDO trophy going her way once again. It's Ashton beating Dieter Hedman by seven legs to four. Well, she's been so well fancied to do that pretty much since she set foot down at the lakeside a couple of days ago. She has sparkled throughout that world record average in the quarterfinals, demolished the 2014 winner to Bromislova in the semi finals. And although there was a fight back from Dieter Hedman, it wasn't quite enough. Bare bones of it. Scott, how impressed by Ashton over the piece of the three days? Um, she's been very impressive. And I think the stats there, look at the tons, nothing between them. Look at the 140s there, five to six. It's the 180s of the big stat there. And that's been the difference in the average from an 83 for Lisa to a 77 to Dita. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to the stage our presentation party. Our special guest for darts on Dave, Mr. Tim Vine, accompanied by the BDO tournament director, Wayne Williams.
We now present our runner-up, receiving £2,000 and memento. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dark Destroyer, Dieter Hedman. to our champion. She came here as the reigning BDO World Trophy champion. And in 2016, she's still the Sports Direct BDO World Trophy Ladies Champion. The Lancashire Rose, Lisa Ashton. Trophy Champion, Lisa Ashton! Lisa, congratulations. It must feel pretty good to get your hands back on that trophy. It is. I uh, can't believe I've retained it, so I, I couldn't be any happier. You've been in fantastic form all weekend. Did you come into the tournament knowing that you were going to play so well? Did you have a hunch? No, I didn't, no, so I just took every game as it was and... Um, Your opponent, because she battled you all the way? She does all the time, you can never write Dieter out, she's an absolutely ambassador of ladies' dart, she's a cracking player, you've got to take your chances where you can. Well, congratulations, a very worthy winner, fantastic stuff. Thank you, thank you. There's our champ, so one champion in the bag, Lisa Ashton gets her hands on the World Trophy. The question is... Who is going to join her? We'll find out the answer to that question in just a few minutes' time.